Stevenson gets the 71-68 win over Lycoming here today at Owings Mills Gymnasium. Glenn Clark with head coach Gary Stewart. Coach, it's been a uh, tough year, obviously, particularly in conference play. How good does it feel in the final home day to to be able to go out with a win over one of the better teams in the country? Yeah, I, I think, uh, Glenn, I would say that it's been a disappointing year. Not, um, you know, we, we knew conference was going to be tough, so uh, we'll deal with the, the results. But uh, we felt like we were a little bit better than, than our record indicates. And, um, you know, obviously had some games that um, we didn't finish real well. So, um, so we accept our fate and, uh, and move forward. Our kids are fighting hard, as you can see. They, they uh, competed well tonight, and, and uh, we'll um, you know, make some corrections tonight and get ready for, for a, uh, a, a tough uh, for any opponent on Tuesday. <laughs> So you can really enjoy this one at all, Coach. I mean, it feels like this is something that the, the effort, knowing that, you know, really you guys, I guess, technically had nothing to play for, to have your kids come out the way that they did and still battle against a team as good as Lycoming, I would think this would be one that you'd be, maybe allow yourself to enjoy a little bit. Well, you know, you're in it, and, and the season requires that you move on, win or lose, and, and I'm really proud of our guys. You know, the guys, they really fought hard and competed well, and, and, um, and and there's some things I think we can get better at. I'm anxious to see what uh, our preparation is going into Alvernia, how we can play a little bit better than we did the last time we played them. We've talked about some of the positives uh, down the stretch as you've been through the losing streak. And one of the things that we talked about a lot about is the emergence of Kobe Colston and his offense. And he finishes with 20 points tonight, 10 of 12 at the free throw line, doing a little bit of a Dwayne Wade impression a few times. Um, how proud of you how he's improved as the season's gone on and as he's gotten more opportunities? Yeah, he's a really talented guy. He's um, got a great IQ, excellent feel for the game, and he's got a, a, a really good skill set. You know, he's able to to make threes. He can get into the interior and finish, and and he can find people. And um, so that bodes well for our future. You know, I'm glad he's on our team, and uh, we've got three more years with him. And then Evan Joseph is the other one that jumps out at me. I know you didn't have the other night, but you get him back today and 13 points, including just some huge shots in the second half. Yeah, it was interesting. We had to lock him out of the gym. He went into concussion protocol, and and uh, but we were able to get him back, which was great. And um, he's a, he's as consistent as the day is long. You know, he's a guy that um, you know kind of plays uh, beyond his years, and we need him on the floor because he's a stabling influence for us. Let me uh, just wrap up with a thought on Senior Day. You only got one year with Danzel Wright, but, um, boy, it was a really good year. Just thoughts on what he did for his, this program in his one season. Yeah, he was fun to coach. You know, he uh, he, he never missed anything, and uh, uh, he loves basketball. And any time you get a kid that loves it, uh, boy, you've got a chance to, to really improve a guy, and he uh, got better and better. Um, I'm going to really, really miss him. He's a, he's a delightful young man and got a bright future ahead of him. Well, Coach, I know you got one more. Uh, good luck on the road on Tuesday, but congratulations. Just a really, really nice win today here at Owings Mills Gymnasium. Thank you, Glenn. Coach Gary Stewart, I'm Glenn Clark. This has been GoMustangSports.com.